Welcome back to the Phantom Gourmet. You know, scallops and bacon is one of my all-time favorite food combinations. And I guarantee you've never tasted them together quite as good as this. And that's just one of the outstanding dishes served at Oysters in Pembroke. They come for the steaks, the seafood, made from scratch desserts, and lots and lots of oysters. Brand new to Pembroke, Mass, Oysters Bar and Grill has become the hottest and coolest restaurant on the South Shore. We make everything homemade. We make our breads, we make all of our pastas, the ice creams, the sorbets, all the stocks, everything. Just stuff I like to eat. Chef Joseph Emma and his wife Megan met as students at the prestigious Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park. And for years, they dreamed about one day serving fresh, locally inspired dishes like chipino, chock full of mussels, lobster and shrimp in a light tomato broth, and Portuguese clams with white wine and linguiça, even steak frites with hand-cut Parmesan fries, and an enormous all-natural beef burger topped with Vermont cheddar cheese on a homemade brioche bun. So to turn a dream into reality, Joe turned to his father, Ron. <laughs> A successful, albeit unconventional, restaurateur known for his over-the-top antics at Emma's Pub and Pizza in Bridgewater and Norton. Joe was the longtime chef at Emma's, but he longed to cook fancier fare, and his dad took his son's dreams seriously. He was my chef for seven years, and I knew eventually I was going to lose him because he was chasing a dream, and I said I would help him and back him on the dream that he wanted to fulfill, which is the fine dining end of the business. So nowadays, Crazy Ron is more like cultured Ron, and he's starting to warm up to the high prices associated with going high class. It's a wonderful thing when you can get $25 or $30 a plate because I'm used to 89 cent pizzas and all you can eat fajitas. Actually, considering the quality of what's coming out of the kitchen, the value here at Oysters will make you happy as a clam. There's mouth-watering shrimp ceviche with avocado, cilantro, and citrus, Indian-style lamb curry with basmati rice and garlic naan bread, slow braised short ribs over handmade gnocchi, and of course, ultra-fresh raw bar platters plucked from Cape Cod waters. Who doesn't like an oyster? It's like taking a sip of the ocean. And even though Chef Joe was a lot more soft-spoken than his father, you filming me? the flavors in his food are loud and clear, especially on the scallops and bacon dish that's deconstructed and delicious. So our scallops and bacon is kind of a play on bacon wrapped scallops, but separated. So we do delicious pan seared scallops, crispy bacon, and a bacon for blanc sauce. The most delicious bacon wrapped scallop you've ever had. The scallops are big and sweet. The bacon, thick cut and smoky and salty. You add in all that butter, and this dish has more balance than Ali Raisman. Mm. Things get even more delicious at dessert with an ultra-rich bananas foster bread pudding in a pool of caramel and a whole new way to enjoy coffee and donuts. The coffee comes in the form of homemade espresso ice cream. And as for the donuts, they're... Fresh homemade donut balls. They're made to order, so they come out to your table served warm and they're just a fluffy bite of heaven topped with sugar. But not everybody comes to Oysters for a full meal. Even though the dining room is beautifully decorated, open and airy, the bar is usually the busiest part of the restaurant. Some come for the dollar oysters from four to five, and others come to experience the shooters layered with a fresh shucked oyster, your favorite vodka or tequila, and all the accoutrements all in one glass. You take it like a shooter. Most people don't like to chew, but you get everything at once, and it's definitely a experience. Have a shooter, have a steak, have some seafood, have a fresh squeezed grapefruit martini. Whatever it is, you simply have to go to Oysters in Pembroke. <laughs>